In this video, we'll look at calculating the average rate of change and instantaneous rate of change on rational functions. I recommend that you've already watched how to calculate AROC on IROC on polynomial functions, another video of mine. Though this really isn't much harder. It's basically the same work, but a little more complicated numbers. But that shouldn't deter you. Let's get started. For f at x equals 4x minus 5 over x minus 2, a rational function, first calculate the average rate of change where x is between 3 and 8. Okay, let's start with that. First, show your formula. The AROC formula is f at x2 minus f at x1 all over x2 minus x1. It's just the slope formula written in function notation. And now I've got a sub in. I want to know, use this second number, that's your second x, f at 8 minus f at 3 all over 8 take away 3. Now it's usually where I go on the side and do some work on the side. You could do it in here, but then you have a lot of extra writing to do. I'm going to calculate first f at 3. So to calculate that, I show the reader that I'm multiplying 4 times 3 take away 5. Look, I'm just subbing 3 into this equation over 3 take away 2, which gives 12 minus 5 over 1. Well, that's pretty easy. 12 take away 5, 7 over 1 is just 7. That's going to go in my AROC work here for f at 3. That's a 7. I'll put this minus here so I don't forget. And on the side, I'm also going to calculate what's f at 8. What's the function's value at 8? Just sub 8 into the function. 4 times 8 take away 5 over 8 to take away 2. What's 4 times 8? 32. Take away 5 is 27. And 8 take away 2 is 6. In the last one, when I was doing f at 3, you'll notice I calculated this. 4 times 3 and didn't subtract 5. It doesn't matter as long as you show some work that you're first subbing in, then you're simplifying. Now we'll solve. You can do 27 divided by 6 in your head if you want. You should write it out as a decimal here. Oh, and it's a nice decimal, 4.5. Just because we're going to be working with decimals sometimes in these questions. 4.5 is f at 8. Put it in the work that I'm doing for f at 8. And on the bottom, 8 take away 3, that's pretty easy, is 5. So the A rock here is 4.5 take away 7. Do that in your head or do it on a calculator. That's negative 2.5 divided by 5. Again, I won't judge you if you use your calculator, but you might see, I'll show you just in case, negative 2.5 oh, divided by 5 is nicely negative a half or negative 0.5. Please always end your AROC statements with a therefore. Therefore, something simple like the AROC is. That's perfectly good. Negative 0.5. The average rate of change of this function, its average slope between th 3 and 8, is negative 0.5. As opposed to B, calculate the instantaneous rate of change at x equals 4. We want to know how steep is the function right at x equals 4 for that function. Well, let's start with the formula. IROC equals f at x plus h minus f at x all over h, which is equal to f at 4 plus 0 0.001 minus f at 4 all over 0 0.001. We're always going to use 0 0.001, 1 one-thousandth. It's just x plus a little bit more. That's IROC. We're estimating within 1 one-thousandth. Later, when you take calculus, you'll learn a much better way to do that, do this work. But for now, that's what we'll use. So you can safely say, for us, h is always going to be 0 0.001. And yes, I'd like you to show you this step here. Some people can handle just jumping right from the formula to here, but I wouldn't do it. It messes up sometimes. I'm going to show my work. I hope you will just like this for full marks. I'm looking for f at 4.001 minus f at 4. So I want f at 4 and just 1 1,000th of a whole number beyond that. 
Going to do some work on the side here. First, I always start by calculating f at 4. That is the whole number. That should be the easy sub n. It's just sub 4 into this equation. 4 times 4 take away 5 over 4 take away 2, which is 16 minus 5. That's 11. And 4 take away 2 is 2. So that gives 5.5. The reason I start with this whole number first is if you sub in 4, then you sub in 4.001, you should get a very, very similar number, very close to 5.5. Let's see. F at 4.001 equals 4 times 4.001 minus 5 all over 4.001 take away 2, which equals. You should keep all the decimals as you go. 4 times 4.001 equals that. That's expected. Take away 5. And look, similar numbers to last time, right? You'd expect the numbers to be very close because you're using a number that's only 1 1,000th of a unit past it. On the bottom, I can do that easily in my head. 2.001. And now divide. What's 11.004 divided by 2.001? And as expected, we get something very close to 5.5. In this case, 5.499250375. And to what might be your next question, yes, absolutely, please keep all the decimals, but the calculator rounded, so still put a rounding dot. We're only going to round at the end, but we put a rounding dot because the calculator rounded. Now back to our original work, f at 4.001, which is 5.499250375 minus 5.5, all over 0 0.001. Notice I didn't put a rounding dot on that line, only a line you rounded on. I rounded on this line, on this line, I gave the exact value that I got here. There hasn't been any new rounding, so don't put a new rounding dot. Only where you did the rounding. Speaking of which, let's calculate this. 5.4. I usually do this 4.001 second also because you can leave this result on your calculator, but I hit on C by accident. Take away 5.5 equals, and then divide by 0 0.001, and I get... Now I'm going to round again. Final answer, I'd like you to round to three decimals. Negative 0 0.749, and this 6 means that round this 9 up, which is a 0, which rounds this up. So again, 6 rounds 9 to 0 and rounds this to a 5, so you get negative 7 point, sorry, negative 0 0.750. That O is important. That 0 is important when I say round to three decimals. And so is your therefore statement. We've calculated IROC, a nice simple therefore statement. The instantaneous rate of change, in this case, is negative 0.750, rounded to three decimal places. And there you have it. We've calculated the average rate of change and the instantaneous rate of change on, ration, on a rational function. The first one, we used what's basically a formula of slope. We calculated these two values, subbed in and solved. Make sure to show your formula. Doing the instantaneous rate of change is very similar, slightly different formula. One extra step of work to show, to show the adding on of that 0 0.01. And watch out with your rounding dots. Also, make sure your fractions completely cover all the numbers in their fractions. That's it. Now you know how.